Hello everyone, this is your Sports On Demand for Sunday. The men's national team, the U.S. soccer team, they disappointed everyone by not qualifying for the World Cup. The men's team sealed their fate with a 2-1 loss to Trinidad and Tobago on Wednesday. I caught up with members of the NMU soccer team to hear their reaction. Yeah, well, I remember watching the game back in my house with my roommates and, you know, when Trinidad and Tobago scored their first two goals in the first half were kind of like, you know, shell-shocked a little bit. As a fan of soccer and someone who plays soccer, you know, it is really disappointing that we couldn't, you know, get it done and make it to the World Cup. It's, it's ironic that other countries, uh, whether it's Trinidad, Tobago, that, uh, uh, you know, ends our dream this time, or, um, or, a, or a country like Iceland. I, I've got a couple of Icelandic guys and they've qualified with a country of about uh, uh, 300,000 people. So, you know, I, I, it's, uh, there's something's not right and I'm sure somebody smarter than me is going to fix it. The NMU team was in action today and they had a pretty good day as they hosted Purdue Northwest. They won that one two to nothing. On the women's side of things in the GLIAC, Michigan Tech lost at home to Tiffin in overtime by a score of 3-2. And NMU lost at home to Ashland by a score of 4-1. to one.